Russian forces continued their air attacks against Ukraine on Friday. The move comes as Ukraine is gaining more ground in the south. Trey Yinks has more. Ukrainian forces are inching closer to the key southern port city of Kherson. The gains prompting Russian-backed officials to evacuate more residents from the region. It's a move some say could set the scene for another Russian withdrawal. They moved in all their Russian officials to administer, etc. They're pulling those out with the civilian population. That city will fall to the Ukrainians. And when that happens, it is significant. Kherson was taken by Moscow in the beginning of the war. Kyiv now warns Russia plans to destroy a hydroelectric dam in the region. Moscow denies the claims. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky warns such an attack could cause heavy flooding and cut water supplies to the south. The devastating environmental, humanitarian, man-made consequences of this single Russian terrorist attack may become a historical disaster. Meanwhile, Russia has turned to Iran for help targeting civilian infrastructure in Ukraine. U.S. intelligence finding that Tehran's troops have been on the ground in Crimea, providing training and technical support. In recent weeks, airstrikes using Iranian-made kamikaze drones destroyed many of Ukraine's power stations. Western leaders say the attacks serve as psychological warfare. From a strategic standpoint, it still doesn't change the fact uh, that Russian forces on the ground continue to uh, lose territory or at best hold ground. Ukraine's Air Force says since Sunday, it shot down 85 percent of Russia's drones. In Kyiv, Trey Inkst, Fox News.